I'm going to tell you a little bit about springs today. First of all, we'll start off by saying that uh, springs on a flute are usually, 90% uh, of them are opened until closed. So if you have one that is, just happens to be flailing in the wind, then that is basically a, usually a spring that has popped off. So what we want to do is we take our little spring tool here, and if we do have something that has popped off, it's very simple. Just take your spring tool and uh, place it behind the spring cradle to uh, make the key properly work. Now if it's one of these that um, has to be, or is closed until opened, like our G sharp key right here, that will probably have to be replaced by a professional. It is underneath a lot of uh, stuff here, so it's very hard to get to uh, without disassembling the instrument. Um, but uh, a big one is these trill key springs right here at the top of the flute that can cause quite a bit of havoc. Um, if those are not connected, your whole flute just will not play. But those are some things about springs.